Hello again. Uh, today I got bored and I wanted to build a potato battery. Um, so yeah, so the potato battery is just uh, two potatoes and I cut them in half and I I took some uh, I had some actually had some zinc wire. But um, instead of zinc wire, you can just use uh, galvanized nails, as long as they're, they're zinc galvanized, right? Um, and so you shove your zinc wire on one side, which is going to be where you connect your ground to. And then you connect, uh, you just get some normal copper wire, you know, any of the wires you normally buy, Radio Shack or copper. Um, and then you just uh, connect them all in series, right? So one one slice of a potato here, I get about uh, 900 millivolts off of. And so you go from the, um, well, so here's an LED, right? So the long the long side of the LED um, always goes towards the uh, the positive side of your battery. So this is this is the sh this is actually the short side on the left. So that's going to the negative of my battery, which is the, uh, the zinc, which then goes through the potato to the positive, which then goes out in series and connects back here to the negative of this battery, which then goes out to the positive copper wire here, which then goes into the negative of this potato, which then comes out of the positive through that yellow wire, which then goes into the negative of this potato, which then comes out of the positive of this, which then goes to the other side of the LED. And you know what? I actually get 3.9 volts out of this. And it actually lights up the LED. How cool is that? With, with four halves of a potato. It's actually really bright. Uh, potato power potatoes. So that's uh that's three point nine volts. So I guess if you needed five volts to charge your phone you uh oh, you would need a actually I think they did an experiment. You need a lot of potatoes. Because just because it's high voltage doesn't mean that it's high amps. Right? It doesn't mean it provides a lot of current draw from the potatoes. <laughs> so I think you'd probably need I don't know how I don't know how many potato <laughs> potatoes you would need <laughs> to charge your phone. But if you need it if you if you're in the dark I guess and you need a flashlight and you have some zinc and some copper wire and, and you don't have a candle because your your electricity burned out but you have an LED and potatoes and and um some zinc and copper wire, then, then maybe you could read by LED light. So this is this is pretty cool. All right, experiment done. Oh, you can also do this with lemons. Uh, you, you just need some kind of acidic uh, fruit. You know, it's any well it's vegetables. You know, they they call potatoes vegetables, but they are slightly acidic. So any kind of acidic. Um, solution will work uh, and that just basically uh, starts the chemical reaction and you you uh, the, the zinc wire goes to uh, zinc plus plus or whatever gets to uh, loses two electrons and then the copper wire um, reacts and it actually uh, creates uh, hydrogen gas H2 so there is there is uh, there's hydrogen gas coming into my room right now. That's not that's not good. Um, and so you you can also you can use lemons. You can use uh, soda as a sick, um, or anything that's called an electrolytic solution. Um, so yeah, there you go. There's your potato battery. Nah.